All right, what's going on, guys? It's Rhythm and Drifting Rhythm, and today we'll be continuing Fast Beat Loop Racer uh, Chapter 2. So, like I said before in the last episode, we had to continue... We had to redo this episode. The footage towards the end, so, like, the last two races were just, like, weird. The sixth one, so in this case, 12, and only half 11 was available, so I want to redo these ones for you guys. Uh, so, yeah, we'll be starting today with number 10, The Way Forward. I hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, let's get into it. The Wild Swan defeats the Emperor. Maria's prowess shows no sign of stopping. As his success goes to his head, a Silver Giaro 22 pulls up alongside him. You want to guess who this is? It seems you're the real deal. It is the Silver Dragon. Why not race me yourself and find out? The Silver Dragon grins proudly. I think I shall. It's just what Ryo was waiting to hear. The match is on. As he gets ready to race the Silver Dragon, Ryo gets lost in the moment, already envisioning victory in his mind. So this is the other thing I, I'm going to talk about now. This bothers me because they write it off as if every race they do is immediately wiped from their minds because we have raced the Silver Dragon already. You guys saw in the last episode, we beat him. He was the one in the Lancer, the Mishibishi Lancer, the Evo X. But they're talking as if he's never raced him before. Gets on my nerves. <laughs> I do not like that. They do that throughout the game, and it's frustrating. I'm not going to lie to you. They do that a lot. Just letting you know going forward. If you've played this game, you're probably already aware of it. But otherwise, it's so weird. It's like every race is its own segment of... Or like even every... Not, yeah, like about every race or so is about its own segment of reality. It's like they're all branching off of some kind of path of this Rayo Sawada guy, the wild swan guy, right? But again, like, we're not him, but we are him, but we're not him. It's so strange, because obviously you see Ryu driving around and around us, right? Like, every race, he's always there. That's supposed to be us, but it's also not us if he wins. See what I mean? Like, it, it's really odd, and I don't know why they chose that. I don't know, maybe there's something you guys know about the game in this way that I don't. So, hopefully, if you do know something about it, you let me know and you let everybody else know in the comments because it is a little confusing <laughs> how there's two of me, basically. Am I his brother or like twin or something? And we both, for some reason, have the same car, but his is white and mine's purple. There, ooh, there's one race I am kind of dreading and it's... Kind of later on. I'm sorry, I'm not really like reacting at the moment. Oh my goodness. I had to get out of that. You're gonna see me be ooh, a little more messy in this in these kinds of races because again, it's just like this two. Oh my goodness, it's these two uh, tracks. Well, more specifically, lanes. A lot of the time, it's just they're really tight. And it's really hard to drive around going max speed. I could just detune the car. I could do that. I am I am uh, able to do that. I didn't see anybody ask about that, but you can detune your points. It does let you do that at any point um, before a race. But this feels more like funny, I think. Kind of adds to the charm of this game. Oh, just a little bit. It's fun. It's fun. It just looks kind of ridiculous. <laughs> but by the time we beat everything, we should be about another point up. Maybe we'll even get a new license. Who knows? So let me show you. You can detune all the points if you want to. See? And you get them all back right there. It's really cool. I like that feature. There's not a lot of games that actually let you do that these days. The Flying Dragon. Racers from all over Tokyo gather to watch the race between Ryo and the Silver Dragon with bated breath. They've done this before, but this is just super new. Like, this has never happened before, but it totally has in the last episode. <laughs> in that crowd stands one man who sticks out from the rest. He clearly has some Japanese heritage, but there's nothing Japanese about his manner. So that's the Silver Dragon? Interesting. With unusual skill, he chases after the two racers in his APS RI. Who is this guy? Ryu asks in a panic. That sounded panicked. <laughs> Dumbledore asks calmly. The silver dragon turns and realizes who it is. That's Fei Long. The grudges in their eyes. That alone they have in common. This is the race that I'm honestly dreading the most because it's a lot. This one I do remember because it took me a bit to beat when I first did it. 
because of that whole that whole two segment part right there, it just kind of goes on for a while. I did not mean to turn that hard. Oh no. I keep hitting these trucks. Like we're still so far ahead. It does it's just the illusion that they're like close enough like that is just that's probably the most realistic part about this. Oh, we're almost a new class, too. Look at that, A9. The speed you go and pick up is insane. I love how it feels fast. You know, that's probably what I like most about this game. It feels fast. Morning in the City. It definitely sounds like this could mean, you know, like it could be a double entendre with the way that it's said there. Like, Morning in the City. Like, oh, something uh, unsettling or unhappy has happened. Or... Morning, like, you know, the sun just came up, you know, <laughs> like it's dawn to a new day. The silver dragon is defeated. No one is able to disguise their shock at this strange Chinese racer who showed him up. Ryu is equally amazed. They say Fei Long is going back to China tomorrow. What should I do? Ryu's formal rivals gather together. You're the only one who has any chance of beating him, they urge. If you're going up against him, we've got your back. A new fervor begins to burn inside of Ryu with the long racers... With the wait, what? Oh, I read his name. With the other racers at the back, he issues his challenge to Fei Lung. But we've raced him already. That's what I mean. Like it's weird, but it's like we don't count because we weren't technically in that race in the last race. Because see, like that's where Ryu is, but we're not Ryu. Oh man. The one thing again I can say is that I, I cannot stand like how long the countdown stays on your screen, so you can't really see what you're doing. See what I mean? Like, I hit the brakes there to try and come around. It doesn't, it doesn't do that. It just, like, immediately only lets you turn in there. Just, it's so frustrating because it's, like, that, I can't do, like, a leading drift, and that's the only thing that, like, messes with my style of driving in this game, is that I have to constantly adjust for this game. That was a pretty good time. All right, guys, that's going to do it for episode four. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was pretty quick. I just wanted to redo it right so you guys didn't get, like, a random cutoff. Because, again, like, I just don't know what happened. Like, all the, all the sound, all the footage and stuff like that is fine. It's just for some reason, it's just it just cuts right off after the midpoint about the 11th race. Because this one, you're going to see the car where it's, like, super beefed up like this. It's not... <laughs> <laughs> it's not actually that, okay? Go into the expectation of episode 5. It's going to be more realistic for the time, because remember, I didn't have all these points yet. I had to come back from a later point in the game and redo these so that it's more cohesive, it's more coherent, so it's not just all random nonsense about, like, why is this out of whack? But at least the races went by faster, right? And it just kind of looked like F1 playing with a Civic, right? Like, it's just like, come on. <laughs> Catch you in the next one. I've been Rhythm Drifting Rhythm. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care. Have a nice one, guys. Thanks for watching.